If there must be trouble, let it be in my day that my child may have peace. Thomas Paine Restless and anticipating trouble, wanting to see more of the country before the election, journalist Glenn Wilson and artist Walter Simon set out from Alabama on a journey west in the fall of 2016. The real journey starts now. Interesting optical illusion that is artistic in a way. Uh, aesthetic as well as musical, sustainable energy, non polluting. Right here down, the, right here on the plains. Okay, maybe percent of the population is just sort of there. Then you got maybe 10% of the spectrum for your uh, schizos, your bipolars, your crazies, your activists, your artists, your wizards and shamans, and, 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 and the, the, the weird hobos and crust punks and all that. That's one side of this, and the hippies, the, the real hippies, the rainbow hippies, are one side of this thing. The other 10% extreme are these right-wing rat fucker trolls with eugenic Trump belief systems that they carry on with them. They think that that's their tribe, the rat fucker tribe. Yeah, with the National Park Service, yeah, the 100th anniversary and all that, right? Um, how do you feel about the issue of uh, commercialization of cars and you know, privatization as we talked about in Congress? I'm probably not the guy to talk about work service because I'm not a work service fan. You're not? So you like to be more on the privatization side? No. no. Uh, How do you feel about that? Well, the history of the park goes, goes way back, even before 1971. Uh, and, and what the government, I'm, I'm not a government fan. I am diametrically opposed to what we have turned into, which is a democracy. And democracy is turned into oligarchies, it's turned into dictatorships. We were founded as a constitutional republic. We are not there anymore. And this place is probably one of the best examples. What problems do you see in a nutshell? So too much, too much government intervention. Yellowstone Park is the best, one of the best things that ever happened to preserve a bunch of wonderful land. It's also one of the worst things that's ever happened because it got the government involved in owning land. They didn't take your advice, they did their business. Your advice, they did their business. Your advice, they did their business. I like, I like the ones that, that run the campgrounds and, 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 and interpret the ranges, do yeah. programs. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, these are top notch people. They all seem like nice folks. And they're federal government employees. But the private not, employees. Not all the time. A lot of times there, there's Antero employees and they're Delaware. But I mean, as a general rule. And so, from yeah. my perspective, it seems like the federal government is better than the private contractors. You know, are you really going to turn the private all this land in the West over to the Bundys? Really? Now, the rap of your tribe is the psychos, the CEOs of corporations who are the, the obviously. Irresponsible, don't care, sociopaths. And who's their leader? Their leader's obviously Donald Trump. Donald Trump was about to be elected President of the United States, and there was unrest in Cannonball, North Dakota. Singing about the Indians now. Yeah, they've been singing about the Indians. Comanche, Apache, Chippewa Sioux. And as my grandfather sat there, tears slid down his cheek.
following the Lewis and Clark Trail up the Missouri River from St. Louis, the modern-day explorers camped at Standing Rock with the Lakota Sioux Red Warriors, getting in tune with the Native American vision by seeing it up close on the ground. Then, after visiting the Crazy Horse Memorial in South Dakota, they made their way to Yellowstone to confront the corporate forces of commercialization and privatization in the 100th anniversary of the National Park Service. The snow ran a lot of people out in Yellowstone. That's good. See, our timing might just be perfect. Right at the... The timing's been good on this trip so far, has it not? Yeah. 46 degrees in Cody, Wyoming. During the summer here, they have rodeos every night. But the season's over now. It's October. Snow in the mountains. We're just down the mountain from Yellowstone National Park. And uh, there's still a little life in this town. Spend one more night here and then head up into the park in the mountains and camp in the snow. But first, we got to go in here in the Sierra Trading Post and get us a new cowboy hat. Jefferson. Let's go. Let's go. Get in the back, Jefferson. Good dog. Good dog. That's where he rides. Good old Jefferson. That was incredible. Interviewing rangers, volunteers, and authors, they investigate relationships between the Park Service and private concessionaires and environmental impacts of visitors on the landscape. The unexpected, right? My first time in Yellowstone. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, 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 how are things going here? This park with the private concession from Delaware North. I hear a lot of good things from the people who work for them, Delaware North. I know a few people, they run the lower general store down here. Really good restaurant, really good food, and the people there, they seem to be happier than we have with Zantera. I know Zantera has a ton of turnover and a lot of unhappy people. Uh, I know I watched the show on the anniversary. 
what was that here in Yellowstone? It was live cast. I don't even, it wasn't, oh, the uh, the centennial celebration yeah, yeah, yeah. from the arch. Right. Yep. Yes. And I noticed on the wall over here in that show there's a lot of kind of local politicians talking about uh, public private partnerships. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal out here, right? It's a huge deal in Yellowstone. Okay. The Yellowstone Association has been one of our primary you know, donors, they raise a lot of money for the park. All right. And there's another one, uh, there's the YA, and then there's the Yellowstone National Park Foundation. And they, just very recently, they merged. All right. So we now have one kind of nonprofit organization that is associated with the okay. okay. It's still they trying to raise, get money, it's still trying to get Congress to give you money for maintenance, right? I don't know all the details about that, actually. I know, you just don't talk about it, you don't think about it, you don't, you don't like the bud, you'd like the bud you'd like the Budweiser, you don't like the Budweiser. Um, that has not been an, an issue with us yet. I'm no, sort of curious from your personal point of view, they're trying to privatize the parts and get rid of the park service. So Trump is elected, Republicans, Congress, with the bill sitting there, they will privatize the parts. The kind of things that we're concerned with is um, maintaining this. And so part so of that is the environmental impact. Yes, so yes, obviously yes, a part of that is the number of tourists that come in here every year. Right. We really need more visitors here. And this place sort of overrun all the time. Yeah, it, uh, this last year has been uh, really, really busy. It's yeah. been very busy. It has, had, it has had environmental impacts on some of our uh, features here. For the oh. Oh. I'm in a beautiful place. And we got tons of great photos and video, which is fantastic. And today we got some good interviews. I think we should reflect on what we're doing. I want to uh, just take it in. Try to enjoy the time we got here. Right. 